Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are watching this out there on the World Wide Web. This is Jeremy Geelan for Syscon TV. I am here at 10th Cloud Expo, Cloud Expo New York. And here in the background, as can Brian Olson, which means we've got N EMC with us, but not the whole of EMC, Brian. Your particular niche is Atmos. Yeah, so I'm the Cloud Business Development Manager for EMC's Atmos Cloud Storage Solution. What Atmos is, is a distributed object store, uh, which enables enterprise IT and service providers to offer their own storage as a service offerings. So it's a turnkey solution. It gives uh, users and customers the ability to provision their own storage in a self-service manner. Uh, it gives them a, uh, the ability to monitor and meter what they're doing, figure out their usage. For service providers, it can even uh, call out to billing systems and things like this to really promote that, that idea of usage-based storage. And is the idea of EMC that, you know, I'm going to go end-to-end, -end, so when my cloud component and my cloud storage component, why wouldn't I come to you? Is there a possibility though that people could have other storage? You wouldn't mind? I mean, it would hurt the business, but they could do it, right? Well, Atmos is actually a software package, so although EMC goes to market with a bundled, certified, burnt-in offering, which right. consists of hardware and software, fundamentally Atmos is a software package, and in fact, you can take that exact same software that you would run on EMC's Atmos array and run it on your own hardware under VMware. So anything that's VMware certified on the compute side or the storage side, you can use with Atmos. Now, what's most interesting about this is that those software software only instances of Atmos can tie directly into the hardware instances. So no matter what deployment model you choose, it's one cloud, it has a single policy management system that governs the whole thing, regardless of how many racks of gear or how many deployments and how many geographies you're operating it in. What kind of customers are we talking about? This is you know, real enterprise grade IT, so we're talking big it customers. Is, yes. Well, typically you need to be a larger enterprise to consider offering storage as a service. Probably for these kinds of customers, you're going to get significant cost savings by allowing users to provision their own storage. Uh, larger customers would be the one probably more biased towards doing departmental chargeback and billing and things like this. But everyone, everywhere is transitioning to IT as a service. And tools like Atmos promote and enable you to do this. Do you find that you still have to evangelize at all around the cloud, Brown, or is that now just simply a, a, a gimme and it's when can I start? Well, cloud is here to stay. This is not the latest buzzword or the latest hype cycle. This is a permanent shift in IT architectures. So cloud-based architectures offer a number of advantages, but the primary drivers behind all this are cost and scale. So if you take a look at the Atmos cloud storage system in particular, what you see are are enterprise class, but nevertheless commodity components. You see uh, commodity servers, you see commodity storage, uh, and you see commodity network switches. It's really the software that ties it all together and where the real nature of the intellectual property is. Uh, now, clouds can scale without limit. They're designed to largely operate themselves. So a cloud like Atmos, you would give uh, high-level policy instructions to. And rather than having to babysit each array with a, a full-time staff or two, uh, you can literally have just one of your IT guys manage a work worldwide cloud deployment uh, consisting of petabytes and petabytes. So it really drives down costs on the, on the operational side as well as the CapEx side. And of course scale is the other big driver of cloud. Uh, cloud scale w without limits, uh, this is just something that traditional file systems and SANS cannot do for technical architectural reasons. Now we're halfway through Cloud Expo only, well a little over halfway. How's it been going at the booth? Are you getting the kinds of customers kicking those EMC Atmos tires that you were hoping for? We are. We're getting our traditional customer base. So these are the large kind of three-letter military or educational institutions as well. We're getting a lot of the corporate uh, financial type customers given that this is New York. Uh, not as, you know, not as many media and entertainment here, folks, as, as I was hoping. Oh, because uh, it's New York. Yeah. Because it is New York, but we get lots of those out in, the, in, in California where I'm actually 
based, so no issues there. But really, cloud is a is not a verticalization thing. This is a very horizontal thing that that organizations of all types and sizes are adopting. Well, hopefully, we'll serve up the media world to you when we're in uh, November in the Silicon Valley. Yes, well, I'm sure great. we'll see you there again. I will look forward to that very much. Lovely. Thank you so much, Brian Olson, EMC, Atmos, the storage play in the cloud. Thank you for joining us in New York City, and thank you for watching along out there on the World Wide Web.